welcome once again so the first thing that we will look at is a step by step guide to write a standard resume so with your resume these are the things that you should have in the first session of your resume so we have the contact information now with the contact information these are the things that you should include at the contact information so make sure you include what i am going to share with you so with your contact information you should have your name your name should be there and you should also have your email address that is your professional email address professional email address so let's say my name is isaac asari so if i want to create a email address for my job application i need to make sure that i'll use my name as um my email address let's say i can say it's like uh, isaac asari at gmail.com okay so make sure that you, you you have to get a professional email address for your job application or for your cv you don't have to use your nicknames and others when um writing a cv so make sure you use professional email don't include nicknames on your email then you need to also in make sure that your phone number so once you are applying for overseas job that is job outside you need to make sure that you you include the country code okay so you include the country code normally our phone number start with 0205 or 06 so you have to make sure that you add the country code so i am in ghana so it should start with plus two t plus two three three and if you're in nigeria make sure that you also uh include the country code at the initial just erase the zero and put in the country code there and if you have um social handles like link linkedin profile you can also include it on your cv all right so these are the contact information that you should have on your cv now let's move on to session two now the session two has to do with your professional summary professional summary or the objectives so what is a professional summary now under that particular column you need to brief that is explain briefly overview of your uh, experience okay so just have to brief explain um, your experience your skills and career goals okay so it shouldn't be in more sentence it should be at least two to three sentences two to three sentences so you just have to make sure you go by that that is your professional summary briefly explain your experience so you can say experience um teacher with let's say three years of experience in classroom teaching students of uh, maybe age six to twelve then you just have to state your briefly just brief them with the experience then session three now if you move on to session three has to do with your education your education uh, background session three is about your education so take note of that your education make sure you start with the highest to the lowest so let's say you have university degree your university degree should be first followed by your let's say you have a diploma second let's say your wasi third and then two the others so make sure you begin with the highest 